Alright guys, how a baseball injury made a genius. Let's check it out. Lando is a boy from the United States who, like many other- Guys, if I had an injury that made me a genius, I'll be so happy. Because I just want to get out of my freaking being poor. <laughs> the boys enjoys doing sports. He and his friends spent many afternoons playing- Hopefully- uh, I don't want to say hopefully, but maybe my car accident helped me become a genius, right guys? I hope. Baseball while chatting and having fun. But uh, don't don't go out and chase injuries, right? You what know he didn't what I mean? know was that this activity would change his life forever. What and I've got a huge monitor. Huge. T he's got like a television as his a uh, monitor, guys. One afternoon, he was hit in the head with a baseball. After a few seconds, <laughs> he regained his consciousness and got back up. He didn't tell his parents about the incidents and developed a headache over the next weeks. But if guys, when I. I, I had illnesses and I also didn't tell my parents, bro. I, I don't know why. I guess I felt too scared. Eventually, the headache stopped and the boy nearly forgot what has happened. Soon, however, he realized that he gained incredible abilities. He oh, snap, oh, snap. could remember the numbers and letters of car licenses very easily, could recite long texts and could remember each detail about individual days. Does anyone else have like a gifted period where you just had like, you're super gifted? During, um, like growing up, everybody, everybody was super good at something, right, guys? I was partially. His family realized that the boy had these new abilities, they went to see a doctor. After inquiring about the accident, the doctor ran some tests and it became clear Orlando had Savant Syndrome. Savant Syndrome is a condition that gives people incredible but narrow talents. My name is Gunn Steinick and Narrow? What the heck? Today we'll talk about Savant Syndrome and how seemingly ordinary people suddenly become extraordinary. Guys, one time my like third grade teacher, they kicked to the like a, a dodgeball and it hit me in the head like from like halfway across the field. Savant Syndrome is a yeah, it li literally like knocked me out, guys. rare condition that gives people special abilities in distinct areas of life. Affected individuals are highly gifted in music, maths, arts, calendar calculating or mechanical skills. They often play piano by ear with perfect pitch, paint elaborate masterpieces or know within a second what day January the 11, 4096 will be. What the heck? People with Savant Syndrome Apparently it will be a Tuesday, okay. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. ...also have a unique memory. There is a man who recited the first 22,000 numbers of Pi after reading through them once and another man who knows over 6,000 books by heart. Bro, it's like a robot, man. I wish I had a power like that, man. Uh, I, I could go live on TikTok and get so many viewers. To understand Savan Syndrome better, we will talk about three different people who acquired their abilities in different ways. Through injuries, dementia or autism spectrum disorder. The boy from the beginning of this video acquired incredible talents after he has been hit by a baseball. But there is one very crucial detail, the left part of his brain has been hit. The brain is a highly complicated organ. Yeah, okay, okay, so it's gonna be a right brain. I still don't know if it's gonna make his left brain or right brain stronger, guys. And in order to work, different parts need to fulfill certain tasks. While the left hemisphere of the brain more tends to solve analytical tasks, the right hemisphere is more associated with creativity. Of course, in reality, it's all a bit more complicated, but let's leave it like that. I know, right, bro? I, I try to figure it out, man, but... The accident left damages to Orlando's analytical left hemisphere. As a response, the more creative right hemisphere started to compensate for the weakened left hemisphere. In principle, it works like this. When brain cells have to fulfill certain tasks, they become active together. Each time brain... I don't think we need that much of an explanation for it, guys. Like, his left part's injured, the right part became stronger because the left part wasn't that strong. When cells are active together, they strengthen their connection, leading to more orchestrated actions. If one brain region is damaged, another brain region might suddenly get signals to become active instead, leading to new connections. And over time, this can completely rewire the brain. The boy probably gained his intuitive talents as his more creative right hemisphere became responsive to tasks which are it's like what one person can do, the other can't. ...normally solved by the analytical left hemisphere. 
But before you go out to get hit by a baseball, don't do it. It's a very rare condition. I know, right? <laughs> and the brain will still be injured, bro. Otherwise, the cast of Checkers should have all become math progenies by now. <laughs> cultural reference. Okay, okay. Another patient. I guess he forgot to insert a cultural reference. Wasn't it, wasn't the joke before uh, a cultural reference though? Let's call him George. Acquired Savant syndrome after being diagnosed with frontotemporal dementia. Frontotemporal dementia is a condition where especially the front and the sides of the brain become damaged over time. Before his disease, George was a businessman who was not really interested in art. In his 50s, he started to perceive his environment differently. Sometimes sounds or lights felt very intense. His Bro, it's like a hallucinogenic experience, bro. I used to always chase that in my 20s. And I kind of regret it now because I'm broke. I'm broke as a joke. character changed, his language deteriorated, and he became forgetful. But while all that happened, he suddenly painted more and more beautiful pictures. People were so impressed by his works that he won several art contests. Although his brain seemed to be more and more damaged by his dementia, some parts formed new connections, leading to his talent. Nice, nice, let's go, George's let's go. This case shows us that even elderly people can suddenly acquire Savant Syndrome. But there is one group of people where we find Savant Syndrome very frequently. People who suffer from the Autism Spectrum Disorder. Guys, do I have it then? I'm not sure if I have autism though. In general, autism is characterized by difficulties in managing complex social interactions, Hyperactive behavior. I always felt like I had like a a part of autism or something, bro. Like Asperger's, but there's no way I can confirm, bro. You know what I mean? But I did have like a lot of problems socializing, and I still do. We are narrow. But if I can stream, I don't know, guys. Interests. The diagnosis at the end of the day. And unusual emotional responses. It is estimated that over 10% of people with autism spectrum disorder also develop Savant Syndrome. Dang, 10%? That's quite high uh, numbers, right? Will is a man who has been diagnosed with Asperger's Syndrome, a condition which belongs to the Autism Spectrum Disorder. As a boy, Will has never been particularly interested in calendars. I mean, yeah, they are not very interesting. When he was five, he suddenly developed a unique talent for calculating dates from particular days. Over the next years, he also developed an obsession for drawing. Snap, bro. That's a real good drawing. He was so good that his paintings have been shown in numerous exhibitions in the United States and Europe. And As those can be like tattoos, man. Hold on. <laughs> Whoa, that, that's real cool. So it's like the pen guides a light. Yeah, but the ones on the right here could definitely be tattoos, man. In the United States and these Europe. are real cool. At the same time, his calendar calculation skills became exceedingly good. He could predict the days of dates between the year 1591 up to several thousand years into the future. Dang, bro. If you look into the brain of a person with autism spectrum disorder, we literally like a superpower almost often find fewer connections between different parts of the brain. On the other hand, brain cells is going into the neurochemistry of this, bro, or more local connections to each other. It is possible that in Will's case, the lack of these connections led to unusual new connections which are associated with Savant Syndrome. But what we additionally have to say is that people with Autism Spectrum Disorder often have obsessive behavior when it comes to their skills and interests. This means that they might excessively exercise something they are interested in, for example drawing. People with Autism Spectrum Disorder also have a natural gift for attention to detail. Bro, that's not normal what he's doing with his eye right there. What, is, what am I watching? What am I watching? And all of that combined might then explain why we find Savant Syndrome so often in people with Autism Spectrum Disorder. So you might not say, hey, wait a minute, there are people who acquire Savant Syndrome late in life. Can I do that as well? Well, a couple of scientists tried to find out whether we can induce Savant Syndrome. Based on the knowledge that the left hemisphere is especially damaged in people with Savant Syndrome, they decided to block the left anterior temporal lobe. Again, especially this region is damaged in people with Savant Syndrome. We can Dang, bro. Okay, okay. deactivate this brain region by transcranial magnetic stimulation. Here we use a magnet to apply magnetic pulses Elon Musk to the brain, which <laughs> influences the activity of brain cells. Elon Musk is such a celebrity, guys. In this manner, the left anterior temporal lobe can be inactivated for a while. 
In a study, patients were then given a classical riddle. The riddle consists of nine dots. The goal is to connect all nine dots using just four straight lines. However, you are not allowed to lift your pen up or retract a line. So for example, we can start here and nope. If you want, you can pause the video right now and try the riddle yourself. I just wait here, I mean. Okay, let's try that, man. <laughs> Hold on. One. Oh, snap. Two. Three. Four. Uh. One, two, three. Guys, this is impossible. One, two, three. Like, one, two, three. Guys, what's the, what's the solution for this, man? We can start. I mean... I hope he shows the answer. He he needs to show the answer before this video ends. We'll find it in the comments though, right guys? Wait. All right, the solution to this Oh, okay. <laughs> the next part, okay. This riddle is to draw outside the dots. Oh, so you gotta cheat, bro. Because we didn't even think outside the box here, man. I didn't. Yeah, it's a bit mean. In a small study, none of the participants could solve this riddle. After a magnet has inhibited the left anterior temporal lobe, however, over 40% of participants were able to solve it. A magnet is uh, interfering with bra the brain function. Oh my gosh, what are phones doing then? In another study, people had to read text upon stimulation. The goal of the participants was to find errors in long paragraphs which are easily missed, such as the duplication of the word there. Ha, gotcha. 2 out of 11 participants showed improvements after the stimulation and these effects vanished within an hour. Does it mean that we should stick a magnet to a head when we have to write a coursework? Probably not. Well, of course, no, we are not compasses. It doesn't work like that. It only means that we might have the ability to get Savant syndrome. Oh, see. <laughs> this video seems like a university course. If we inhibit parts of our brain. So we do not fully understand Savant syndrome yet. However, we do know that Savant syndrome is accompanied by changes in the brain where the right hemisphere compensates for the left hemisphere. We also know that we all theoretically have the potential to acquire Savant syndrome. People with autism... Yeah, I think I'm good on it, man. I, I don't know, man. Spectrum disorder... Wouldn't look... Wouldn't look like that... It feels like it would be kind of a, a curse as well, right guys? ...are especially prone to develop Savant syndrome due to changes in the brain, their attention for detail and their special focus. But in the end, Savant syndrome remains enigmatic, but also astonishing. I hope that you liked this video. If so, leave a like and subscribe if you're new here. Someone of you suggested this topic, so what should I cover next? Let me know in the comment section. And right. with that, I'll see ya. Alright, let's see the comment section here. No wonder we feel the need to smash our heads to walls out of frustration when we can, can't seem to understand or study something. Oh snap, that's... And the same action as did, but it became even dumber. This video is well... If both an autistic and neurotypical person hit their head in the same place, I wonder if the autistic person is more likely to develop Savant syndrome or not. I wonder... Uh, I don't I don't think that the, re the, the experiment should be recreated, though. Now, every illness is seen as a curse of illnesses. Like this one in the video could be seen as a blessing. Yeah, but they're still losing part of their brain function. He didn't really go into the negatives of it, guys, right? In my opinion. Really good explaining it in an entertaining manner. Yeah, that, that, that's our video. Thank you guys for watching. Check out uh, some science, science serially in the description. I'll see you guys next one. And do all my reactions live on Twitch. Please consider donating. I'm not making any money currently doing this. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Check out original video in the description. See you guys.